This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. This is a weekly update. I'm in the process of shooting these videos for the larger box motor. I've got one of them cut out already. And uh, you've probably seen the earlier version of I, where I shot this stuff. It was the last update, I think. I'm going through this process completely for the purposes of the re-edition. Uh, I've even designed a new collar that will uh, stabilize the wheel. But I've already created this uh, three-phase generator. And uh, one of the uh, generators is the armature out of a alternator and the other is three phase uh, generator now these generators don't have an iron core and uh, because the way a pulse motor works it, a lot of you have probably already run these experiments as the coils increase in flux the magnetic field is increased from the flow of energy through them they become a magnet and when they have an iron core they become a, a pretty strong electromagnet and what that does is that slows the wheel down. In a pulse motor, unlike a conventional motor, it's only on it pulses. This motor is sequential. So if you get enough sequential coils close enough together, it's more like a constant push than just a single pulse in between each mag like a conventional pulse motor. What I did here is I'm in the process of putting one of these together. I'm going to use wood just like the frame. So I'm going to build a PMG three-phase generator out of this and it had these magnets and I wasn't sure if they were going to work. They, they have been magnetized in a strange way. I have a lot of them. I bought them surplus and they have uh, two norths and two souths. So what I'm going to plan on doing is putting two rings on one on each side and spinning it at a high speed well as this passes it almost can cause the flux to flow in a circular pattern just by the way they're designed normally you wouldn't want to have the magnet over the end of the coil now I'm not sure if this is going to work but I'm willing to take the time to see if it will work just to see how the pattern what type of uh, generator that will make uh, and obviously if this don't work I'll buy a conventional wedge ring and put two rings on each side within 52s and we all know that works and one of the big issues I'm having here with this alternator setup is the energy flows through the core the electromagnet 120 volts flows through this creates the magnetic field with the armature then it has a special wind that goes around it and there is no iron I'm not using the state conventional stator so trick was to come up with a pattern that would work that would break down that uh, circular magnetic field that's created by this type of coil I ran some tests on it but it wasn't safe this shaft is so short you know it cost me money to get things machined but what I need is a way to create a mount thin enough that'll fit over this bearing and also in the back and it'll still allow me to put my brushes so I can put a winding over it which means it's only has to be just slightly bigger than that but it also has to mount and also has to leave room for the wire and you have to put a pulley on the front of that so when I did it before I kind of built some little thing and strapped it down and it was going so fast I was afraid it was going to kill somebody so <laughs> I had to pretty much scrap that but I did come up with a decent winding pattern for it right now the issue is to finish this and to put these two types of generators together one for each one of these motors so I can run tests on them to figure out which one's the best now uh, I'm really leaning toward this I was amazed at how much power that made when I ran the test it wasn't a very long test, so I'm not sure, but it was pretty slick. You know, if any of you guys got any ideas on this uh, piece that I need to hold the front, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to listen. And also, if any of you have had any experience with these magnets, I don't know if they had a purpose or they were just a bunch of them were magnetized wrong and they didn't want to reheat them and fix them. I'm not sure if this is going to work. You know, everybody out there doing experiments, you know, maybe somebody has some ideas. I'm just throwing it out there. Leave something in the comment if you've had any experience with these kind of magnets or have any ideas. I'm willing to listen. You know, it's open source and we're all trying to solve the problems for the masses, not just ourselves. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.